Hi everyone, my name is Justin and I'm one of the trainers with the London School of English Canterbury. Uh, today I want to look at effective business openings and closings or starts and ends of emails using common phrases in business. A lot of my students come to me and they say, look, I really don't know how to write a good start or a good ending to an email and so this is why we, we're going to talk to you about it today. So email writing came out of letter writing, which effectively has a lot of kind of old fashioned phrases like yours faithfully and to whom it may concern. Now I'm not saying that's totally wrong uh, to use those phrases, but uh, we don't really use them very much. So let's focus on the common starts and the common endings. Okay, um, first of all, we have the word dear. Now, in the United States, I think dear is used a lot less than in the UK, but certainly in the UK and Europe, people do use dear quite a lot. Dear is a safe and polite way of addressing somebody, and particularly if you haven't communicated with them before, or you're applying for a job, this is an appropriate start to the email. Next, we have hello. Hello has a sort of mixture of formality, and politeness and friendliness and that's quite a nice way to start the email. Next we have hi. Hi is much more informal. Um, you would probably use it with a client you know quite well and um, particularly people use it with colleagues and people in their team. Okay let's move on to ending an email. The most formal way is yours sincerely. Now you'd use yours sincerely, much in the same way that you'd use dear. Uh, and yours sincerely again is a safe and polite way of addressing somebody you don't know very well, or if you're making a job application, that is a, an appropriate ending to an email. Then we move on to kind regards or best regards. The two are interchangeable, which means they, make, they mean the same thing. Um, this is really the standard way uh, that people end business emails these days. And finally, we move on to best wishes. Now, best wishes is friendly, a little bit formal, uh, but an appropriate way of ending an email to somebody you know in business reasonably well. Of course, when you know somebody very well, you can use the, an ending like thanks or cheers, but I would only really use those if you know somebody really, really well, who's in your team, who's a colleague, or a client you've known for ages, who you see on a fairly regular basis. Okay, finally, um, if you're still not sure how to start or end your email, uh, and you've already received an email from somebody, you could simply just try copying the way they've started and ended the email, and that should be fine in most cases.